That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. What's your name? Hi, I'm Manuel Esteban Sr. I'm a Suffolk County legislator, and uh, I live in East Northport, New York. I'm an Eagle Scout, father of seven, married, and I'm very happy to be here. What's your favorite cooking spice? So my favorite cooking spice is actually a blend called Sasson Goya, which is a mix of um, garlic, cumin and a bunch of uh, other beautiful artificial chemicals that when you put them together they taste wonderful and you know Sesson Goya reminds me of home you know my father's Cuban my mother's Colombian and when you would smell that seasoning and you hear those pork chops crackling you know it's going to be a nice dinner and even today when I cook my stews and all that, uh, uh, I take great delight in using some of that Sasson Goya. And, um, you know, it makes me, uh, reminds me of my childhood and, and those very happy days. That's one of my favorites too. I'm Puerto Rican and it's definitely Sasson Goya and Adobo. Those are my two favorites. Certainly. When you hear the phrase, united we stand, divided we fall. What does that mean to you? We'll work together. Uh, we have to look for our commonalities, our similarities, areas where we agree. And it also calls us to be uh, charitable, right? Because sometimes uh, we may want to hold on to what is good for us, the ideas or concepts that are um, uh, beneficial to us in our way of life, but sometimes to, to get along a little bit, you know, we have to be willing to uh, uh, to take a step and to listen to the other, other person, uh, other groups as well, uh, to come to a consensus. Because if we both, um, you know, dig in our heels, uh, it, it, it's hard to, to have movement. And I believe we all succeed when we work together because, uh, you know, in many situations, we're all on the same ship, if, if, if you could if you could follow what I'm saying. So that's what what that concept means to me is, is how can we work together so that we can all, you know, get along better and, and have happier lives, have more safety and, um, you know, and people, all of us be able to enjoy this country a little bit more. And again, and sometimes that may mean, um, you know, giving a little bit of ourselves to accomplish that. I work with TFK TWA, training foster kids to work with animals. Our kids will soon get their first apartment. What cooking advice would you give them? Well, very good. Um, well, I would say to them to be patient, get a good cookbook, a basic cookbook. Uh, my first cookbook was actually called uh, Cooking for Dummies, a big yellow cookbook. And, you know, it started with the basics, how to boil water. Uh, things <laughs> like that. You'll laugh, but, uh, you know, you start out very basic. You learn, uh, you get it. Try to get, plan ahead your meal ahead of time. One of the first meals I ever learned to prepare was um, a tuna fish with pita bread. So tuna from a can, some mayo, you chop some, some uh, what do you call, onion, some uh, yellow or green peppers in there, season it to your liking, some olive oil if you like, mix it up and then you put it in, in the pocket of your pita bread. That was the first meal 
uh, I ever learned to prepare, and I've had plenty of that in my life. Uh, but once you try to cook something a little bit more elaborate, let's say you want to try to make a chicken stew like we were talking about with your adobo, that kind of work, it needs a little preparation. So maybe you want to make a list of the ingredients the night before, the day before, go shopping for, for the things you need. Um, because if you try to do it all in the same day, you know, you, you may find yourself getting a bit exhausted from going to all the stores in the neighborhood and then having to prepare everything and then having to do all the cleanup. That could get overwhelming. So the idea of planning, keeping it simple, uh, doing things in stages, uh, being gentle with yourself, you know, start out with something very simple, and we always ask for help when we try to do things uh, that are new to us. So maybe your first uh, chicken stew, right? Cook it with some, cook it with a friend that you know has made that before. It could, you know, make it a, a lot more fun and enjoyable for you. Uh, cooking could become stressful if if you try to push it and, and do too much at one time and uh, you know these are good steps also for how to generally do things in life I'm 46 years old almost and I've learned to just do things little by little easy does it um, you know things weren't made overnight so just take your time with it and and savor your food enjoy it thank you so much for joining us here on melting pot and contributing to the mix now i'd like to ask you to contribute whatever you would like this is the part of the show we label first amendment freedom of speech and it's a chance for you to say whatever you would like to say to new yorkers to americans all over the country and to everyone all over the world well uh you know, it, it's good for us to work together, to be patient with each other. Uh, going on the themes, you know, we, we spoke about earlier. Um, something very important to me is diversity. And, you know, I love New York because of that. Um, and we're starting to see it in Long Island even more, where uh, more people are coming here and bringing their culture. And in Long Island, and certainly New York, New York City, in the boroughs, uh, you could enjoy all sorts of different foods, uh, meet all sorts of different people. And, you know, I'm, I'm someone that in my public office, I encourage diversity. I encourage people of, of different backgrounds of minority groups to, uh, to become involved in, 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 in public life, whether it's joining their local uh, political parties, uh, running for office, running for city council, running for school board, school district. You start small, just like we were talking about cooking. You start small, you start simple, you ask people for help, and, and you'll get there, you'll get very far. My, my mother was a housekeeper, a seamstress. My father was a bus driver. They were both uh, new immigrants to, to New York. And um, I, I, I feel like I've come very far from where my parents uh, left off uh, professionally. And there have just been hundreds of people who have helped me along the way. Hundreds of people who have helped me. And so nothing is impossible. You can just do it little by little. And we have to be gentle with ourselves, just as in cooking. Sometimes we make mistakes, we make a misstep, we forget something or we brush something. But there's always the opportunity to uh, be gentle with ourselves and forgive ourselves, but also forgive other people. And, you know, doing this allows us to, uh, to enjoy each other a bit more. And, you know, after the holidays, starting the new year, it seems to be a, a good time to think about new beginnings and what we can do to uh, live better. And one of them is is that it's just to uh, be gentle with ourselves, gives ourselves that forgiveness, uh, not overburden ourselves with our goals, and 
try to understand other people's point of views. And that's easier said than done nowadays. And But you talk to people. It's not just uh, seeing a, a post on social media or, or a clip in the newspapers, but it's perhaps reaching out to the other person, not to condemn or criticize, but have a conversation to understand. And, and people who know me know that uh, I listen a lot. I sometimes have people talk for 40 minutes and I'll just listen because many people need to be listened to. There are many lonely people out there who have no one to talk to and they just want somebody to listen to them. They want someone to talk with and we could provide that. That's beautiful. Thank you so much for joining us here on Melting Pot. God bless you. Thank you so much, Brenda. Have a great year. Wish you all the best.